All right, just gonna bring a short video here about the PSA Palmetto State Armory 224 Valkyrie Upper. This is a 20 inch stainless steel barrel with one and 6.5 twist. And it comes with an adjustable gas block and it came with a charging handle and bolt carrier group all as one. I think it was 299, they had a sale on it not too long ago. So this is just an initial accuracy test. I was shooting Hornaday EOD match 88 grain 224 Valkyrie bullets. And keep in mind this mo this morning it was about 15 degrees outside and snowing, so not the perfect conditions for consecutive powder burns and reliable primer activation, but something to get a baseline accuracy test for. So these were the groups I shot. Best group was that one inch, 1.5 inch, so about inch and a half. Worst group was just over two inches in the top right corner. And the reason I want to do this video was because I want to see if flapping the upper receiver is going to help this help this assembly out at all. It's got a PSA lower on it as well, so hopefully we can get some better accuracy out of it. I'm not complaining at this point though, not a bash or anything on PSA's part. Just kind of want to see what kind of progress we can make with uh, factory ammo and then eventually work up some hand loads for it. So another thing on this rifle is that Riton scope. It's the RTS Mod 1, not 3 to 9 power. Uh, one inch two, it's got worn rings on it. What I like about it has uh, locking resettable zero stop turrets, so that's convenient for kind of a tactile type thing, but it's not gonna stay on this rifle for very long. I have a Monstrum Gen 3 first focal plane four to 14 on its way, so that was the uh, ideal scope for this build here. Something worth mentioning, if you're gonna be reloading 224 Valkyrie ammunition on your own, I was just knocking out the primers on these Hornady and uh, Federal Fusion factory ammo and the Hornady's were much tighter than the Federals were and I think it's because that little crimp they have around the primer base there if you look at Federals there is no there's absolutely no crimp there and the primer is pretty much slid out without much without much resistance so might get one more firings out of these if I'm lucky but as far as the Hornady's go uh, definitely looking forward to trying to reload those because I've heard good, review, good reviews about that and kind of the same results from other guys reloaded 224 on YouTube.